So guys, welcome back again to our channel. We all know that the main issue that this government or this country is facing is that our government is never transparent. Like they don't come out clearly to say what they have done with our money. They are all going through the corners who sends bad message. So I read from Sarah Reporters. Transparency issues persist at Nigeria oil company NLPCL fails to release 2023 financial statements seven months into, into 2024. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited (NNPCL) has not published its financial record for 2023 as the year 2024 draws to a close. The lack of transparency has sparked concern about the company's operation, especially since it became limited company. The NLPCL only released its 2022 financial statement in January 2024 after facing significant pressure. The petroleum industry act mandates that the NLPC as a limited company must undergo financial audits annually in line with the companies and the Allied Matters Act. Oil revenue is a significant contributor to the Nigerian government's fiscal intake, serving as a crucial indicator of revenue generation. The company is an incorporated joint venture owned in the following proportions. So Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NLPCL, they own 49%. The Shell Gas BV, 25.6%. Total Energies Gas and Electricity Holding, 15%. And N International NANV SARL, 10.4%. However, the financial performance of the NLPCL remains opaque, with Nigerians unable to assess the financial statements and gauge its fiscal health. Previous financial statements of the NLPC have raised concern regarding the organization's financial management and the stewardship of the country's oil revenue. A review of, it, of the 2021 financial statement highlighted several issues, including high indebtedness, notably the NLPC wrote off debt amounting to 140 billion over a three-year period between 2019 and 2021, raising questions about its financial prudence and revenue management practice. One of the NLPC's subsidiaries gave out loans worth two billion to employees despite recording zero profit in 2021. Previous financial statements revealed that the NLPC have been funding loss-making subsidiaries raising concern about each operational eff efficiency. Additionally, the NLPCL has secured various crude-backed loans, including a $3 billion loan in 2023, the impact of which on the company's revenue and operations remains unclear. Furthermore, the Nigerian Extractive Industry Trans Transparency Initiative, the NEITI, has alleged that the NLPC failed to remit 2.8 trillion in tax to the government in 2022, highlighting potential revenue management issues. Why the NLPC continues to state that it is committed to accountability, experts note that experts note that publishing financial statements was a key pointer to such commitment. You can imagine the news we hear in our country where a company as big and as important as the NLPC are failing to bring out the records of last year. So they put out the record of last two years this year, which means it took them a year and or two years and self to publish a annual report of how the finances in your company went. And they are failing to pay taxes, which we all know how important this oil is is for our government and our country revenue. We know how important it is. This is the major issue we have in every sector in Nigeria, which is very bad. They are never transparent. Let's break it down to the case that happened at the face today in our Senate, where they brought a bid that Oshima brought a bid that they should probe or let's say they should look into how the military are using the money given to them for ammunition, given to them to equip themselves. And then they now ask the question if they should put that bill in place, yes or no. It will shock you that the Senate, our senators, came out to say that no, that they don't want to probe any any administration or how they use their money. This is this is to tell you that they all know what they are doing and they all know how they're using the money given to them for their own personal benefit. That's why a senator in a Senate meeting can boldly say no, that they don't want 
a bill where they will prove how military are using their money given to them to equip themselves for their personal interest. This is so bad. So this is what's happening in our country. And yet we are complaining about bad government. All of this government, what are they doing? Because the money given to them are not being used properly. They are being used for their personal interest, which I think they should wake up or else what is coming to them will be very massive. So guys, this video about what let me know. This video I've watched, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. And I'll leave you guys to watch my next video. Stay tuned. I'll see you guys in my next video.